Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to create this uh, Ferrari Ferrari's wheel. So we create uh, uh, it is completely created on Grasshopper and um, it is completely parametrical. So we can change everything parametrically of this of this model from the the, the tire grooves to the um, wheel rig so this is our final result everything is controlled by some parameter so every curve of the section every slope it, it's all controlled by mm, this parameter I hope it, you enjoyed the video if you enjoy it uh, please subscribe and uh, mm, like the video Let's start importing the picture. So, if you have a Rhino in English, you have to um, write picture frame. Picture frame. And I have the Italian version, so I use Riquadro Immagine. I bring me in my wheel circle. I bring uh, I use this uh, 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 command to bring uh, the center of the circle wheel at the center of the workspace. I'm checking if, if it's really the center so I take the center of this circle with my hot snap on center is on I move from the center of this I select this, the circle and the picture and I move from the center of the circle to the zero comma zero zero comma zero of the workspace so now the center of the circle is perfectly at the center of the space work now we start working on grass super so first of all look at this circle wheel it's not flat in the upper side is not flat so all this part are inside a surface and this surface is either here and lower here I think from the picture that this is almost at the same height so I start drawing the circles which defines this geometry so I create the first circle 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 curve primitive circle okay and I start creating the first point that is the zero 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 point I, I call it the central point plane zeta uh, z is zero z 
Okay. And I've so first I draw I uh, create the geometry at uh, in the zero pl plane. So this is the center, the radius. I I need uh, uh, two dots precision, two number after comma precision. So I drive I write uh, three dot zero one to have a slider of this precision, okay. And now I move it. I create the first circle and I call it logo circle. Duplicate it, move the slider, I call it middle circle, create another circle. I modify the value max to 30 then I create the external circle here we are external wheel circle And now I create the external wheel. Sorry, here we I call external of the wheel circle. And uh, now I create the external of the wheel of the wheel. And we here we are. Now I start creating the base geometry. To create the base geometry, I have to move in the z direction this curve, this curve, and this curve. Basically, I can I can keep as a zero direction this. Um, the uh, uh, the zero uh, items um, the the position in which is this circle so this is uh, this remain at this position so in the zero zero plane now I will rise up this uh, this curve and this curve and this curve basically. So I move in the z direction I move this curve and this curve Because I have to do the loft, it's better to do this way, to copy this part and uh, move in the z direction one by one. Okay. It was <coughs> I created one more here. Okay, now let's see. What happened? 
Yes, now we, cre we create um, a slider who drive this movement so we call it uh, we need of a, a precision of two dots two number of the after the dots so 3.01 it's okay and I connect with the Z okay it's what we wanted so now we create a loft between that curves we start from the in order from the inner curve and uh, we go to the outer curve okay it is basically our surface and uh, this is our slider that we can call Aka difference on the top of the wheel circle. So we can con uh, it will be a slider that at the end we can control. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to create to give uh, um, thickness to it. So we extrude this surface in Z direction in the negative z direction z uh, negative and uh, we control it by the slider call it circle wheel thickness okay here we go perfect now Now uh, we have the main so main um, geometry. So we call it main B rep. We are going to cut off from this B rep this uh, the geometry who defines the holes of uh, of uh, our wheel circle. So we we uh, go on uh, drawing in the in, in the flat in the, the piano zero at, at zeta uh, at z equal to zero so we for the moment disable the preview of all this part so we can see the flat surface now we need of uh, this uh, we, are, we are going to um, to create this hole so we, are, we need of this line and uh, we need uh, one more circle so we create another circle and we call it internal of hole big big hole okay. 
I don't think it's it, it, it right like this, but it's the same. Look at what I'm meaning. This part, okay. I'm going to drive this curve. Perfect. And so it's okay. Now we need to create this curve. this line and so we can do like this uh, we create um, we start for, from the starting point and move in direction x negative and what we move we move the starting point We give a big slider to it, so I'm sure it's inside the, the wheel. So I'm going to create a line between two points. Line between two points. And uh, this, this one, from this point, we, we find it now. And this point, I find it before. So this is our vertical axis. So I'm going to drive this curve. <coughs> I want to drive uh, to create this line. So I decide to take the intersection between uh, this uh, curve and this curve with the line. So. I have my line that is our x negative x axis. Okay. Now I want to create the intersection between this circle that was here and uh, this line. So it's easy intersect physical curve curve. Perfect, we can call it point one. And we can create also a test, uh, test here. I don't know where Reno created. it does okay maybe it's the color okay this is our first, our first point now we need to have this point that will be the point uh, 2 And uh, we have the point two uh, with the intersection of uh, uh, the big circle with the same line. So perfect. We find it. We call it point two. Now we can create a line between the two, between the first and the second point. Then we divide this line divide curve. We put an nice amount here to be precise with the curve. Okay, now we are going to move in direction, in direction Y. Oh, 
of an amount derived by the graph mapper and we need a range of uh, the same number of values from 0 to 1 is ok perfect now we are going to so only a check this is 101 here 101 perfect now I bring here on the right now I want to, to play with the graph mapper so I try to use a square root graphics okay I have to work on the output that has to be a lot of either I put it 6 let's see perfect okay I think it's it's okay now it approximates well the curve now I take all this all this and I repeat Ctrl C Ctrl V now I need the uh, negative of this so I'll put negative between Epsilon and T this is our second curve now I create curve so interpolate the dots and uh, interpolate the dots pay attention this this uh, is right the zero position on the at the left and at the bottom because uh, otherwise it the what we will do after uh, won't work we are going to join this and uh, let's see if it is only a curve so if the join operation is going well yes it's a planar curve now we have to do a line between the end point of this curve so we take a curve and we go to um, to evaluate the end point here we are the end point of this one and this one basically we can see here we disable the preview of this part we disable the preview of this part we want to see where where these points are so starting point is here we need end point that is here and we need think end point too yes now we create a line perfect and uh, this line and this is our geometry from which we can create a birep let's see if joining them we will attain a close planar curve so we are going to join Ctrl C Ctrl V also this line let's see if, if it's happen closed planar curve now we can create a birep so we um, first of all we, we um, the best things to do is uh, project this curve on my 3D surface so we uh, curve closet planner now I project this curve where on my main B-Rep pay attention now the result
is a closed curve. It's not what I wanted. In this case, it's better to uh, to project on the loft surface. Let's see what happened. Okay, this is the curve I wanted. Perfect. Now we are going to close this curve. How do we do? We create. Uh, we want. Well, we go to find the endpoints. So, analysis endpoints on curve, and we link together with the line. Now we join this curve with the line. Perfect. Now we should have close curve. Now we are going to take one of these points and uh, extrude to this point. What we want to, uh, to obtain? We want to obtain this. You can see that uh, the lower part is uh, bigger than the upper part. So we have to, to create this slope here. To create here, I want to use this technique. So we will extrude. To a point where it should be this point this point it, it will be here on the negative Z so I will start from one of these and uh, so I start from the divide here I select one point of the list list item it should be approximately here so we take a night slider disable preview so I can see where is it okay and now here uh, we call uh, parameter Regulating the slope. There I can bring here next to on the left part when I leave all, all the important sliders. Now, when I have this, I can extrude, I, I can, I have to move uh, down this point. So I move on the Z direction of a slider. Um, I give a big, big amount to it. And uh, I extrude. Let's see where is it. Z, negative Z. So I have to change the values here is my point so I extrude all the curve in this direction and now we can see that the slope is almost ok but here we have a difference so I have to take this, the slider uh, regulating the slope and uh, using the point moving the point to obtain the right result so here a bit more okay we say that it's almost okay. 
Now we have to cap holes in order to create a closed bureau. It's not possible here. Uh, maybe we can do this. We can take the external curve. External curve that is um, this part, this part here. And we create a um, um, patch surface, freeform patch. Okay. And uh, we extrude instead uh, instead of extrude this uh, 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 this core, we extrude the patch now what we have is a closet bureau and now we can work with it I usually when uh, we do boolean operation use the mesh so I create a mesh from bureau okay and uh, I create, I go to the main B rep, create a mesh. Okay. Now we can start working with the difference. So I, I take uh, intersection, sphere, shape, mesh difference. I want to cut this mesh from the principle okay let's see what happened disabling a lot of previews okay it's almost working but uh, not at all the point is that is that the mesh we found it doesn't cover all the basic mesh so first of all we have to do this to move vertically the joining curve of a few of a little value vertically of a little value and this way bit more bit more too now we have to cut this part to cut this part we can take this extrude let's see the, the content okay you can see this part is not cut it because we don't have we really don't have um, this part covered I, I, we want to cut all so we can select one of the face of the b wrap so we go to the analysis of the b wrap and uh, the construct box no uh, it's uh, evaluate box uh, Construct be wrapped. Okay. Now I want to select this face, so I go to this item. 
and uh, I take an uh, integer number this is the phase we need now we extrude this phase uh, extrude in direction x negative negative okay perfect now this part is covered and uh, create a mesh perfect now we are going to before before cutting we are going to join these meshes and then cutting cutting so intersection shape mesh union and we shift we create a mesh and then we cut all the mesh let's see what happened something else is Mesh union felt. I don't know why, so we can do this. a problem here in the extrusion why let's see what is here surface I only wanted this this phase why why it took all, all this this part of the B wrap. It's one of the mysteries of Grasshopper. Basically, it took instead of, of only this face, uh, it took all, all this part. It is not clear for me. So we want to we have to change the strategy. To do this, I want to I, I start from the basic curve. This line is okay. I extrude this line of the same in the same way I made with the with the surface before. Let's see. Now I have this face. It is okay. Now I'm going to extrude this face in x direction negative x negative. Okay, and now I do the mesh. And now I'm going to cut off this, this mesh from the basic one. The result is almost okay, but it's not still okay because we need of this. Yeah, 
it, it still remain this part. So we have to take the upper part of this. Let's see if now the construct B wrap is working. G surface analysis deconstruct the wrap face item okay the upper face I extrude it vertical of one create this box so now I create B rep uh, mesh from B rep mm -hmm. uh, it's here mesh mesh B rep okay and now I will cut away from this this mesh let's see the result now is good oh perfect we have our result after a bit but we have it perfect now Now it's not finished because we have to uh, duplicate this for all these um, holes, the bigger holes. Then we have to do the small one, the small. But we will use uh, always this form that uh, is uh, driven by these graph mappers. This is very important because if I want the, graph, the, the um, circle to move, it's very easy to do. And uh, another thing is very important that, that uh, you can see we have two graph mapper. I want to drive my geometry by one ma graph mapper. So this is okay. We can link it. And so when I move this, This is what I obtain. So I can move this part, and I can I can, I can uh, in, in every moment uh, move the uh, geometry and uh, change the slope of this of this uh, part. So it's a very important parameter I bring here. Now, what we have. We have these meshes that are the mesh that I cut off from the principal main main mesh. Now I want to join that mesh together because this is the solid I cut off the surface. So now I, I have seen that is, it is working. But now I have to do something before cutting off the geometry. And uh, is um, rotate. So I, we have to create a polar array. And uh, we go to transform array, polar array centered on the point of the central point of the geometry and uh, with five element okay uh, you can see it seems not to be perfect uh, for two reasons one is that we are not on superior and the second is that the images is uh, is is impossible 
from the uh, for from the images to be perfect. Uh, still, grasshopper work with uh, very very perfect geometry. Okay. Now this is our array. Now this is our uh, main mesh. We are going to cut this. So intersect shape mesh difference let's see the result we go to this disable preview result what is happened What's the problem here? Let's see the result. Is Turn locally definite value is okay. Maybe we have to flatten here. Yes. So it is. Uh, it was a problem of flattening because um, here we need one only one mesh, and uh, before here were 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 too much meshes. Now we, uh, we have five mesh, but we still continue to have this problem here. I want to see what is my my surface. There are some meshes here. I cannot. I don't want inside. I just wanted to, to see if they were really inside the geometry. But I think they are. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can um, increase the uh, thickness of this element. Let's see. Because I move the geometry, this bit either, and then I extrude the it, z. 11. Let's try to do. Uh, this is was the position of the point, so this is okay. I extrude until the point, and this become become our mesh. It's not easy to understand why it keep showing me this mesh is here. Let's see. This 
this mesh here for example and let's see doing this I think that this mesh join is uh, is doing something maybe we have to mesh join another time now I have a mesh as, uh, so I thought that was uh, related to the difference but it's not like this So together, but there's still a part. That is I think it's a problem of this mesh join related to it because before the definition was working before doing the array polar so I want to try this I create I take this mesh and I do the array polar then I do the mesh difference okay I still have this now I take this geometry and I make a ray polar and then I'm going to, sub, to subtract to this yes, now it's working sometimes happen but I don't know why so you have to do some, uh, some attempt to avoid this now it's working ok now what we have to do is basically take this geometry Is, is to take the final geometry of the previous part and to scale it and to uh, fit it to this new hole 
here. So this our principal geometry now. This is our main geometry. Then uh, we go to take the geometry, mm, the principal geometry of the holes. Okay, we have it. We have to uh, rotate it and scale it in the right position. So we, can, we work here and we start rotating so we go on rotate rotate in which axis uh, and a rotation angle so irradiant so we have rate uh, the rotation angle is related to the number of filaments so we were we have five elements so mm, we create a panel of a constant to, to indicate a constant uh, we I use 360 degrees and uh, I want to find the angle um, between this hole and this hole and this um, uh, we obtain it uh, with a multiplication of uh, this number we have five division for two because we have two kind of uh, we have two kind of uh, holes so the the larger the the bigger and the smaller data okay now we are going to divide this 360 for the result of this operation and and we put it on the the input of red okay now is the my geometry is uh, rightly rotated. Now I want to uh, to push it away from the center. To do it, we simply move the geometry of a vector, starting from the center. So vector from the uh, vector uh, based on two point. So the first point will be the center. Of the geometry, the second point will be the center of the of the basic geometry. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, look for the center of the geometry but uh, okay this is my 3d geometry I want to move in the in, in a, uh, I want to do a planar movement so I have to, to find the center of the, the of, of the original geometry of the curve I projected so here I do area okay this is our center and we move this geometry of this component let's see yes but it is rotated so before I have to move and then I have to rotate so disconnect this we take this geometry that was rotated and I give to move then I rotate the geometry of the angle I want okay now the result is okay 
I don't understand what is this, but we will see. Now I have to amplify this vector. And maybe better I can do this. Uh, unitize this vector, set boolean true. Okay. Disable this preview. Okay. Now I use amplif uh, an amplifier to define the position of of this geometry of this geometry so if I want to be it to be outside It's okay. Now we are going to move it uh, vertically. Z direction with a little values. All the too little. Only because uh, we want this surface to exit from the previous one. Max uh, give one. Okay. This is our geometry. Our second cutting geometry. Now we can do as before. So I take surface here, a container of surface as a B-Rep, B-Rep container. Okay, and I bring it next to my working space here. So I have this geometry, I have to do the array polar of, of the, my geometry, so I can easily take this. I do the array polar of my geometry, the same counter of, uh, of before, so I can easily do this, so I can with this I change all the all the geometry. Now I have this geometry, I create the B rep mesh, B rep mesh and check mesh util mesh b rep okay now I'm going to take mesh difference between this mesh and this mesh. Let's see what happens. It seems it's working. Perfect. Almost perfect because I don't see where is the this geometry that is oh still perfect. Let's see if I bake the geometry what happen. And I think it's very good result. Now In the following tutorial we are going to create the details of the of the wheel. But for the moment I think that, that the hardest part is done. The other things are little things that uh, we have to do but uh, they are not so hard. It was uh, very hard.
Peace. Tudo.